<coughs> it's funny that when you uh, live close to the place you work or where you go to school is that you're probably going to be late most of the time because you're thinking, you know, I, I live near so I, I don't have to hurry. But then in the end you end up hurrying because you left too late. It's kind of the same with people who live close to you. Uh, and they have a YouTube channel that has reached 2,000 subs. Now, I was just at Mark's, and he said, well, you know, the end of November is near, and uh, there's this Q&A thing uh, that's ending for my channel. And I thought, well, you know, I, 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 I knew about the 2,000 subs, and I'd seen the video, and I was pretty sure that I'd at least responded. Uh, but I just went ahead and checked it, and I... It, I have to say that I, you know, I hadn't seen this video, uh, and I hadn't even commented on it. So it, this is, went completely under my radar. Uh, but it's not the end of November yet, and I'm not too late to enter uh, uh, with a video response. Um, you didn't say that I had to be subscribed, but I am. Uh, you didn't say that I have to like your video or not, but uh, I will, because I haven't yet uh, right now. Um, I've actually just come home and, and turned this on and watched it. You know, it's only two minutes, so... Mark Vergeer, um, Lactobacillus Prime, one of the hardest names on YouTube to remember and to pronounce correctly, uh, even by people who've known him for a long time. Mark has been one of those founding fathers... I just had to check whether I'm still recording yet. Founding fathers of what the YouTube community is now, at least the way I see it. I mean, he was around long before I started. Um, but Mark knows a couple of the people that have been, uh, as you know, been on YouTube as long as he has. So it's it's been good to know, you know, get to know who's who and what's what. Uh, just uh, you know, uh, talking to Mark has been very. I mean, it's, it's all it's always a very pleasant experience, of course. Uh, but he's reached 2,000 subs, uh, having been on YouTube since its uh, inception. Uh, it's, it's definitely a long time. Uh, so, Mark, congratulations. I enjoy your videos very much. Uh, I'd like to say that I watch all of them, but I think I've proven today that uh, I, I, I'm really not on the ball all the time, uh, obviously. But I've seen it now, so I'm, you know, I'm back on it. Uh, congratulations, 2,000 subs. Um, all right, I got a question for you, because that's the that's the thing. Uh, Q and A. My question is, uh, I mean, I know you're, you know, you're a medical doctor and you're a psychiatrist. Uh, so I I thought, you know, what what do you think is the reason that grown up people play video games. I think that's a good question because we've, you know, uh, we've discussed on several occasions uh, people's behavior in video games. Um, but, you know, you might also, uh, one of the things that I've heard many times is the people who are like my age you know past 40 and who play video games have sort of a it's 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 sort of a secret secret pleasure you know playing it's it's not something that you talk about at parties easily because not everybody understands not all people play video games so uh, what you know, my brother, for instance, who's only three years older than I am, uh, grew up in the same environment, and he doesn't care diddly squat about video games. Nor does my daughter, really, uh, and, and, and she's a modern person. So, what is the difference? What makes people play games and stick to them? You know, stick to 
playing games. That's my question. That's my, my entry into your raffle Q&A prize winning contest. Um, it's, I, I've got two videos in a row now doing VRs to... I mean, Giyu and Kalimo was the last one. Uh, you should have been first, actually. But I've been, I've been done, done two in a row now. Um, it, it's, it's. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, but it is what it is. So I'll see you next time. <laughs>